Hi guys and girls, welcome to the final part of my curated let's play of Fury on PlayStation 4. In the last episode, the stranger has finally obtained his freedom after defeating the final guardian, the Beat. But as we shockingly discovered at the end of the episode, freedom has come at a very high cost. This beautiful world is slowly withering and dying, purely from the stranger's presence on the planet. A trail of petrification and corruption literally follows the stranger with every path he takes. It's now clear why he was imprisoned in the first place. Let's take a moment to admire this world, even if it's only for a fleeting moment before it slowly dies. think back to the second episode, a fight against the strap, the other prisoner. The line, the wise old man, said that the strap was sent to protect them. It suddenly made sense. The voice told us that she crashed through one day, searching for something. But none of them could make sense of her. So they put her in a cage. Was she sent to help defend this world? Defend this world against the stranger? Looking back to episode 4, it becomes apparent why the scale was contaminated. Before the stranger's capture, he must have been exposed to his corruption. Why is still unclear. My theory is that he may have tried to stop the stranger, to prevent him from destroying this world. Perhaps he was one of those 100 men led by the hand to capture him. was tasked to fix the scale, perhaps to cure his contamination, his corruption, to find a solution to save the world from the stranger, but there was none.
So now you know. Maybe you think I'm insane, or maybe you understand. You were my only chance. I hoped it would change you. I think it did. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is what you are going to do. Trapped in his own masterpiece, his inescapable, impassable prison, driven by longing and loneliness, the voice committed to freeing himself by freeing the stranger, if only to see his daughter one last time, at the cost of the world's destruction, he was prepared to sacrifice everything. question lingers for the stranger. Is this his purpose? To destroy this world? To bring the end? Death? Destruction? Or is there something else? Acquiring Rider. Resuming flight plan.
Welcome back, Ryder. Let's see your report on your target planet. Uploading planet report. Results inconclusive. Proceed with manual confirmation. Confirm planet assimilation. The stranger finally comes to the revelation of who he is, the truth. He's not of this world, he was sent to it, not to destroy it, but to conquer it. But has his experience in this world changed him? One of, or if not, the only decision point in this game, a tough decision. On one hand, we were imprisoned and tortured. The arrogance and ignorance of these people led to our capture. But, beside it all, there is also compassion, dedication, and a race willing to sacrifice for what's important. Could there be hope for this world? Is it worth fighting for? I'm going with what I would do if I was the stranger. I think this world is worth fighting for. Warning, Rider. Deactivate your firearms. Rider malfunction. Activating security systems. Proceed with civilization. Rider, you have changed. Why is that? Welcome to the finale, the battle against the star. The star is not a guardian or a jailer as the other bosses were. What happened during your last mission? I can't let it happen again. But many still consider the star to be the final boss of this game. been here for you. Why all this? In this fight, the stranger, or shall we say, rider, is wearing a kind of battle suit. Your mission was critical. Our survival depended on it. This battle suit allows the stranger to increase the firing rate of all of his projectiles. It also lets him fire laser beams, and to do this is quite simply to charge your, um, your projectile attacks. What will you gain by fighting us? You think they would welcome you? They will have no idea of what you do. They don't even know we exist. This can be a tough fight. You'll mostly be fighting the four hands of the star instead of the head of the star. They said you corrupted their world, but they corrupted you. I recommend not focusing too heavily on one hand at a time. And my only other advice is to be persistent, because it does get a bit crazy.
For them, you will remain a stranger. A danger. Why is their world worth more than ours? You have traits I have never seen in any of us. Selfishness. Arrogance. his interest before ours. seen in any of us. Selfishness. Arrogance. A rider cannot put his interests before ours. left a conqueror and came back a traitor. seen in any of us. Selfishness. Arrogance.
A rider cannot put his interest before ours. Will you destroy us to save this world that is not yours? I am disappointed in you, Ryder. You leave us no choice, Ryder. We will annihilate you.
The jailer is the key. Kill him, and you'll be free. And that, boys and girls, was my curated Let's Play of Fury. I really do hope that you all enjoyed the gameplay and the story in this series. I certainly enjoyed making the videos for you. Now, before we go, you may wonder why I decided to start this video series in the first place. Um, as you can tell, I really, really liked the uh, story of uh, Fury, even though the game itself can be um, quite the challenge. Uh, I think the difficulty of this game lends itself very well to the premise of the story, uh, especially the character design of the stranger. Um, but because of the challenge uh, that this game has, it is quite a difficult game to recommend to friends who are, you know, just casual gamers. Um, in fact, it would be just simply too hard. Um, I actually had um, a couple of mates who uh, couldn't even pass the first Jailer uh, on the easiest difficulty. So I thought, you know what, why don't we do a Let's Play uh, that shows you know, almost everything, uh, but at least the best that this game has to offer. Um, in a way, I almost wished that the game bakers would consider making an anime adaptation of this uh, story. Now, wouldn't that be really cool? Anyway, wishful thinking. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank all of you for watching this series. Um, please leave a like or a dislike or even a comment down below of what you thought of the game uh, and the Let's Play in general. Um, at the moment, I haven't planned for what to do with, uh, I guess, my next uh, Let's Play project, but I do hope that you can join me in, in my next curated Let's Play. For now, this has been True Blue, and I'll see you in the next series.